Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Oh my god, I woke up today with a very good news to y'all. <laughs> TB Joshua, Prophet TB Joshua, Dr. Sarah Joshua. She just gave birth to a baby boy on her father's birthday, 12th June. Wow. Oh my god, this is a miracle. This is a miracle. And I learned that uh, when she was pregnant, all this while she's been, she's been expecting a baby girl. Even the scan said it was a baby girl. And then she was not, she's not even supposed to give birth on the 12th of June on TB Joshua's birthday, but suddenly. And uh, even when she gave birth, and it was a baby boy, and on her father's uh, birthday, after just a week, TB Joshua passed on. You know, she collapsed. They said she fainted. I'm like, wow, God is great. See how the baby is so cute. You know, her husband is from Tanzania, a very cute guy as well. But look at this picture very well, guys. This baby looks like TB Joshua. I'm sure he's the one that came back. What do you guys think? So excited for this family. They are money and they are happy at the same time. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for putting a smile on this family again. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, I'm going to show their wedding. They did a private wedding some time back. And then I will show it to you guys too. Oh my God. Wow. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I am so happy for them. I am really, really excited for them. Wow. Look at the baby closely. How cute. How cute, guys. Oh my God. Joshua is back. TB Joshua is back. No one should cry. All those people that are judging him, saying a lot of things. Me, I don't know. I know I've been there three times. I don't judge no man of God, no prophet. I don't judge no pastor, no man of God at all. Because I am not in the position to do that. And uh, it's God. And, you know, all judgment belongs to God. If we judge even anything he did, what about King Solomon? People, girls are coming out to say that he, he, I mean, he was sleeping with them. And what about King Solomon? What about King David? Well, these are the people from God's heart. I think God doesn't just bother about your sex life. God bother about your life. But I'm not saying people should go and sleep around. I don't know. I, I don't even have the right to like judge them. Say so don't sleep around or sleep around. Because it's up to you and God. If your heart is clean, if you love God, if you go and sing, uh, sing praises to God, and you know, I mean, pray to God. If God loves you, God doesn't really bother what you put on, and He doesn't really. I think He doesn't really care what you're wearing or what your outside is. Is the inside? Because I could remember how many wives did. Uh, King Solomon had with concubines everywhere sleeping with them, but God loved him the same like uh, his father, King David. David loved whom I even killed his best friend, took his wife, blah blah. God still forgive God, God still forgive him, you know, and blessed him. So, guys, me, I'm not judging uh, no one, I don't know whether they were fake, they are fake, or he was fake, or not fake. Or others are fake or not fake. Me, if I go to a pastor or a prophet, they are prophet and I, I believe that they come from God. So if they are not of God, that's left for them. This was their wedding. TB Joshua's daughter, a private wedding. Sarah. Sarah. I haven't seen it before. This is the first time. Oh, that's a mom. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm so happy for TB Joshua and the family. Oh, wow. <laughs> From Tanzania, yeah. Oh, she was so happy. I learned that she collapsed yesterday when she finally found out that this is a miracle. Wow. 
God does things in a way we cannot see. Wow. Wow. I'm so shocked. I am so shocked. People are saying, let me bring this. Uh, that's Joshua's wife. Oh my God. That's the husband. Sarah's husband from Tanzania. Oh wow. This is beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Subscribe below. God bless you. Oh, thank you, guys.